Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos. So, a little quick video about uh, the Model S and keyless driving because uh, these do have keyless driving but it doesn't work quite in the same way as it does with a Model 3 and uh, when I was first looking at these I couldn't find the information online. I think it's got a little bit lost uh, with all the Model 3 videos out there so I thought I'll make this video to show you how you can use your phone as a key with the Model S. It doesn't work the same way as a Model 3. With the Model 3 your phone does become your key but with the Model S generally you would use the key fob and keep it in your pocket to drive the car. However, there is an option to still start and drive the car with your phone. So I'm just gonna go and put the key away in the office so it's out of range and I'll show you how that works. Right, so I've come back out to the car and obviously we're gonna use the Tesla app. You're probably not gonna be able to see my screen because it is very bright today. Um, but yeah, I've got some shortcuts on the app where we can unlock it and we can start the car, but we can also go to controls and you've got all those options. So firstly, I can unlock the car and it's saying, are you sure? So yes. And it's saying fail to unlock. Look at that. <laughs> unlock the car. Uh, this action will remotely unlock your vehicle. Yes, there we go. Work second time round. So I can now get in. So now I'm in the car, you can probably see my phone a little bit easier. So we've now got a start option and we can either use the password or in my case, I've enabled the um, fingerprint reader. So I'm going to touch that at the back and it's now recognized my fingerprint. And it says we now have two minutes to start the car and it's doing a little countdown. And up on the screen there, it says keyless driving enabled. And you've basically got two minutes to touch the brake pedal. So I've touched the brake pedal there. My seat's now moving and the car is now working. So there we go. We're now moving back and we have got, oh, there's a bump in the drive there. But yeah, we have got completely keyless driving using our mobile phone only. And then, when we come back, just pull back up to where I had it parked there. I can press park, stop the car, and get out. And then when I'm out of the car, I can press lock, and the car locks. Doesn't work as seamlessly as it does on a Model 3, for example, but still a very handy function for those times where you might want to carry your phone, but you might not necessarily want to carry your key. So yeah, that's it, very quick one. As always, hit the like if you have found this useful because that really does help other people find the channel and uh, more EV videos coming soon.